Hey BGC members, my name is Miss Michelle and I am the Director of Character and Leadership and Teen Programs at the Boys and Girls Club of the Austin area. And so today um, I just talked about visualization and I want to go through a practice visualization with you all. Um, so I'm going to guide you through how to visualize. Um, we're going to do a very quick uh, example. Um, we're not going to talk about our goals. We're going to just experience what visualization is like. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk um, and you are going to follow along. Um, one of the things I will say is that um, I'm not in an isolated space right now. Um, you know, I'm at home club and so there's a lot of things going on. Um, people might be passing by. Um, we're far enough so I don't need my mask and we're outside so it's great. Um, but just ignore it, right? Um, they are distractions, they're part of life. Um, and one of the benefits to practicing visualization and meditation is that you um, become better at focus, which means that you're able to kind of deal with the distractions around you better, right? So the better your focus, the better you're able to kind of ignore the distractions that are happening around you. Um, it's happening right now, I looked up and acknowledged it, right? Um, but it's not something that is completely taking over uh, my goals or my tasks something that's just kind of happening um, and I'm letting it happen and that's a really good example of how to keep your focus right um, and so when we're visualizing if any of these uh, distractions come up um, you can just kind of tune them out acknowledge them you know maybe describe them to yourself and then let them pass All right um, so let's get started um, all you need is yourself um, a space for you to be uh, I like being outside when I'm doing meditation because I love breathing fresh air um, but just go along with me um, so once you're sitting in a comfortable position you're going to put your hands together um, and you're going to close your eyes okay so take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth close your eyes Take another deep breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in. <sighs> so if you make sounds when you um, exhale out, that's okay. It means you're releasing some stress, which is good. Okay. Now that we are a little bit relaxed, I want you all to think of a mountain. So put a mountain in your head. What color is the mountain? How tall is the mountain? What's growing on the mountain? What's around it? What's beneath it? Just think of a mountain. So keep breathing, your deep breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. There are distractions around, but that's okay just all that's in your mind is a mountain right think about um, the different ways that the mountain showed up for you so um, what is like the weather around the mountain uh, mine it's a little cloudy and um, the sky is a little gray and the mountain is brown um, it has some like weeds on it uh, there's grass around it but not on it that's what my mountain looks like so maybe your mountain looks different. Maybe your mountain is full of grass. Maybe it's full of animals. Maybe it's raining. Just whatever your mountain looks like. You're still breathing in and out. Now I want to visualize, I want you to visualize that you are the mountain. So it's not just a mountain anymore, but you are the mountain. Think about how it feels to be outside, whatever the weather is in your mind. Think about what it feels like to have the different animals or plants that you have right around you. Keep breathing in and out. I also want you to think about what it feels like to be completely grounded on the earth. So mountains are completely connected to the earth. They're a part of the earth and they're grounded all the time. They don't move. Think about what it feels like to be that mountain. Does it make you feel happy, sad, frustrated? 
think about um, did the weather change when you became the mountain rather than just thinking about it? What other things changed while you were thinking about the mountain and then became the mountain? Right, so just sit in that feeling, continue your breathing. So now I want you to clear your mind. No more pictures. Just breathe, think about how you feel right now. Think about how it feels to be in the seat beneath you. Think about the air that's around you right now, everybody that's around you right now, any distractions. And just feel yourself sitting down wherever you are. Think of yourself as that mountain, grounded. You might notice yourself feeling a little bit uh, more confident, a little bit more calm. Now I want you to take three deep breaths with me and we will be wrapping up our meditation. So one deep breath in and then out. Another one in and then out. Last time. And then whenever you feel ready, open your eyes. So hopefully that felt good to you. Um, that was a visualization exercise that you can follow along with. Um, I certainly feel a lot more calmer, uh, a lot more grounded, a lot more aware of my um, environment, a lot uh, more aware of where I am, right? Um, so that is one way to practice not only your focus, um, but your mental well-being, um, your goals, right? You can really think about your goals instead of the mountain, right? You can put into yourself, like visualize a doctor. Now you are the doctor, right? Or um, visualize um, a car. Now visualize yourself practicing mechanics on the car, right? Um, picture a football field. Now you're on the football field. Now you are the football field. Um, so doing these things are going to connect you closer to your goals. They're going to connect you closer to yourself. Um, and I hope you really feel those benefits if you give this a try. Um, let us know what you think. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.